morning, guys. So, whoa. So I am driving to my mom's house. Um, our house inspection is right now. Actually, the guy just showed up, and it's kind of the baby's nap time. So I'm hoping I can get to my mom's, put the baby down for a nap. And yeah, I'm hoping that's how it works. But I have a feeling he's gonna fall asleep on the way there, so. It is what it is. So I did not intentionally start off this vlog thinking I was gonna talk about this, but it's just like the past couple days. Ooh, wow. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if it's just like my hormones right now or what's going on, but I've just been really struggling with being a stay-at-home mom and I don't know if it's just because at this point like I've been a stay-at-home mom for 14 months and it's just like catching up with me or like I said I don't know and obviously we were just on vacation last week so somebody reached out to me because I posted this on Instagram somebody had messaged me and was like it's even worse when you come back from vacation because I was like talking about how I just feel so guilty that I'm having a hard time and guilty um yeah, pretty much said I'm having a hard time. And and she was like, no, every time you come back from vacation, that's like literally the worst time. Like yesterday, he got up at four o'clock in the morning and I was like, he needs to go back to sleep. Of course he wouldn't. He was crying, 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 screaming, crying. And my coffee just spilled. And this guy is on my ass. <gasps> It was really really early four o'clock in the morning we got him up whatever he was like up for the morning he will not even come into bed with us and sleep which if even if that would work like okay some mornings whatever but we can't even do that because he's just like wide awake wants to play jump on the bed run around okay. so I'm laying in bed and I just start crying and I'm like I want to go back to work because Kyle was getting ready for work I was like I want to go to work like I want to go back to work because I was just so tired and then the guilt from saying that I felt so bad for saying that. I'm so sorry about the lighting, guys. It's like awful. Um, I felt horrible for saying that, and like I do not mean it. I, nothing is worth more to me than my time with my son. But when I am with him 24/7, day in and day out, like I get tired and I need time to myself. I'm kind of rambling at this point, but. I've just been struggling and like emotionally I'm just having a hard time and like this morning I'm just trying to throw myself together. I knew that I wanted to vlog today So I'm like trying to make myself look somewhat presentable I have not done anything with my hair in Since we got back from Mexico like literally I've worn it like this for six days straight, which is fine But like I'm not asking for a lot of time to get myself ready and He is hanging off of my leg screaming crying throwing himself everywhere even though it was not his nap time, he tried to put him down for a nap, which did not work, which is fine. He was a little bit better after he like laid in his crib, took a few minutes to himself. When I took him out, he was a little bit better, but I mean, 10 minutes later, he's just literally like hanging off my leg again and losing his mind. I, I made him a sippy cup of milk. I got him a snack. Um, I sat with him for a minute. I even turned the TV on. Like I don't let him watch TV often and I put the TV on. I'm like got out a couple toys and it's like he knows I'm getting ready and he knows that we're on a time crunch and all shit breaks loose. Of course it is the most amazing thing in the world but when people say it's the hardest thing you'll ever do it's so true it's like a daily struggle to just get through and sometimes it's like we breeze through a week and it's great and then other days literally one day feels like an entire month and it will never end. It's just a real day in the life guys real day in the life. You gonna brush Nanny? You gonna brush brother? Come here, Brax. Oh, you gonna brush Nanny? Oh, oh. I'm gonna brush you. Oh, so handsome. <laughs> you got grass on your hand. Hmm. Back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Back it up. <laughs> you 
probably could pick it up if he went more to the middle. Oh, oh. You know what I've been wondering lately too is you know he doesn't eat, so I wonder if a lot of him being fussy throughout the day is because he's hungry. Right. But he won't eat. Right. Because he's too busy. Yep. Yeah. But you know what I mean. Yep. Yeah. I'm like I wonder how often he's just like over hungry and doesn't even know what it what's right. bothering him anymore. Right. Oh, what happened? Brother broke it. That's okay. Let's see. Is there any way to do that? Maybe not. Are we going for a walk? Yeah. Nettie's in her jamming. Yeah. The tree? He's like, where's the rest of it? There's a hole in it. The woodpecker did that. Yeah. You want to go look at it? Eight any tree. Yeah. Want to go look in the hole? Yeah. Peek. Oh. What's in that hole? Okay. See in there? See a bug? Hello? <laughs> yeah. Hello? Anybody home? but not the blower. You want to do it? All right, ready? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's happy. <laughs> so any time that we've spent at home today, literally looked like this. I'm trying to cook him dinner. And He's crying because he knows where the chocolate chips are and he keeps asking for some and I told him no. No. I'm making him Kodiak pancakes. So they're the um, almond poppy seed flavor. He usually likes these, so that's what we had and I figured it was quick enough. So I also cut up a clementine. He's really been liking those, but We'll see how this goes because it could be a hard fail. It was like too busy at my mom's to eat, so. So comment down below guys if you can relate and if your child is like at a similar stage or having a hard time like he is. It is like just, it really feels like it's enough to make you absolutely insane. Is it good? Really, really happy to see you happy. Like this is, this is great. Are you enjoying it? Oh, this makes me so happy, Bubba. I love seeing you happy. Do you like your pancakes? Oh, oh, put syrup in your hair. Sticky. You want to see yourself again? Dad. Dad. <laughs> You think you look like Dada? Or do you look like Mama? Okay. You think you look like Dada? And Mama. And Mama? Mama. That's true, you look like Mama and Dada. Something. I feel like I've eaten like crap all week. Like getting back from vacation, I just feel like... Yeah, these are the pancakes that I make. These are so, so good. Um, I make muffins with these. Or I'll throw like a can of pumpkin and just mix this with it and make like little pumpkin muffins. And yeah, it's just really, really good. They're not like super sweet, but they're sweet enough that I feel like if you just have it with a little bit of fruit or something, it's really good. You don't even need the syrup, but with some real maple syrup, mm, so delish. Oh, I bonked my head with my phone. Show them your sweater. She got this sweater on Amazon. Oh yeah. It's like the little say. back front. It's like a little color block. So cute. It's I'm it's dying of heat, so it's like actually a real sweater. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it actually keeps you warm. So yeah. if you're in a cold climate, it's like actually. It's not legit. just for looks. <laughs> Extra.
actually warm. We're about to run into TJ's right now. I texted Kyle. I was like, when you get home, we're going shopping. Mm -hmm. Bye. I brought the wine home and... We had a glass of wine and here we are, TJ's. Yep. And then I think we're going to try to go to Target. Wine and TJ's, that's yeah. like a girl's dream come true. I know. Okay, <laughs> now I don't have any money to spend, so let's just go browse. <laughs> Thursday. I hardly vlogged at all yesterday. I really tried, but I'm going to be completely honest and like transparent with you guys. Yesterday was like a really, really, really rough day for me. I don't really know exactly what was going on, but I had like a lot of things mentally that I was like really struggling with and a lot of things that kind of hit me at once. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to say about that. But I was just having like a really, really really rough day like it was it was not good for me um, but Kyle and I had like a really nice long talk last night and I opened up about a lot of things um, that I'm like struggling with and I'm feeling so much better today like it's almost 11 o'clock and I just like the whole morning has been great I've enjoyed the baby so much like had such a good morning we had a great breakfast together and I just kind of feel more myself today um so yeah I um I'm feeling a lot better and there's some things that I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to show you what I got last night when we went shopping since I didn't finish the vlog yesterday and then I have like a couple PR products that I want to show you. But let's start off with what I got when we were shopping. So when we went to TJ Maxx I had a return to do so I only ended up spending 10 bucks at TJ Maxx. So I didn't feel that bad but I had a return to do so I kind of replaced it with something and then bought something additionally. Um, so the first thing that I got is this sweatshirt they didn't have a small they only had a medium but I think it's really fine especially with like a style like this it just kind of makes it look more um, oversized and relaxed but it's like a little crop sweater and then it has this little ruffle on the bottom with this little like ruffle scrunchy sleeve whatever you call it this was $12.99 and I love just wearing this with like my high-waisted jeans I just love sweatshirts and things like this I have a gray one that's like kind of the same idea and I wear it all the time the next thing I bought Emily and I actually both got a pair of these and she said that she wore hers today she said that they're sliding down a little bit but they are just these moto leggings and they just have this really cute um, like design kind of detail on the leg and yeah these were $6.99 super soft comfy they are like a little bit thinner so they're definitely like a legging they're not like a dress pant or anything definitely have to wear a tunic um, you know something that covers your bum and the last thing I got this is like my favorite thing that I picked up because I'm gonna wear this all the time this but it is this like sweater tunic and I love that it's gray you guys know gray is like mainly what I wear but I love that it also has this hood so it's kind of like more of like a laid back style and yeah it's like not fitted but it's not super oversized I just thought it was really cute it will go really nice under like my winter coat with the hood sticking out I thought it would be cute and I feel like I could wear it with sneakers my sneaker wedges I have like black uh, sneaker wedges I think this would look super cute with or I could even like dress it up with some little booties and yeah I just thought that was really cute and this was I think this was $24.99 but like I said I'm definitely going to wear it all the time yeah $24.99 my battery is dying so I'm gonna go grab my other battery I'll be right back okay so I just went and got my other battery um I also put some lip gloss on I feel like my lips were looking a little dull but I have been loving the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Madeline. I usually like Angel Food Cake, but that's just become a little too pink for my style right now. And this one, just like the perfect everyday nude. So next we went to Target and I bought a dress for our family photos that we have coming up, but I don't want to show it to you guys yet. So if you want to see that dress, um, go over and follow me on Instagram and you guys will see it in just a few weeks. But yeah, I bought it specifically for our family photos, but it's also something I'll wear all the time. It's really, really cute, and it's like, I had this image in my head of what I wanted to wear for our photo shoot. Comment down below if you guys are like that. But I had like just a very specific look that I had in mind as soon as we booked our family photos. I was like, I know exactly what I wanna wear, but I don't, like I didn't have the outfit yet, so I had to like 
look for kind of what I wanted. Um, so yeah, anyway, I found it at Target and it was $22 or something like that. The other thing I picked up were these little jeans. So Knox had some jeans that were like this, but they got like lost somewhere. Actually, they're pretty similar. So yeah, I just got these. He's in size 12 month. He's a little peanut. But I love these jeans from Target. I like that they are like the jogger style because they feel kind of like sweatpants. They're super stretchy, comfy, and they're not like your typical like stiff jeans. So these are really the only jeans I put him in. Actually, yeah, he doesn't have any like regular jeans. These are the only ones I'll buy for him. Um, and the waistband actually cinches. So if you have a little skinny mini, then these are great. And these were $12. Uh, I did have a gift card to Target, so I also only spent like 10 or 20 dollars there so i didn't spend a lot of money last night i was very proud of myself so for pr stuff i wanted to talk about a brand they're called smart beat they reached out to me um, about trying their baby monitor and i was like oh my gosh at this point like i've tried quite a few different baby monitors i don't like any of the ones we have and you know i clicked on their link anyway to see what they were about and instantly i was like this is the baby monitor i have been waiting for so this is the one that i wish originally we had asked for at our baby shower i wish we had had this the whole time and i am so thrilled to be working with them and trying out this monitor with all of that said we have not had time to set it up but um based on everything i've read online and just like going on their website i'll link it down below guys check out their website you're gonna feel like you need one um, it's around $230, I think, $232, somewhere in there. But the thing I want to say about this is this monitor has breath detection. So if you guys um, are interested in, like if you're pregnant and you're interested in the little like footy sock that detects like the heartbeat of the baby, that's around $250 at Target, I believe. And then if you're going to get obviously a monitor on top of that, you're going to be spending, especially like a nice monitor like this one, you're easily going to be spending $500 plus for those two items. And I love that this one has the breath detection because then you get both products. I think it is so worth it and it actually will save you money. I know the other one is like a heartbeat detection, but where this one has the breath detection, essentially it's kind of the same thing. This is what the monitor looks like. It's like a little robot guy. It's so cute. Um, and it's just like nice and sturdy. The one we have now, like if you look at it wrong, it tips over and it just kind of drives me crazy to be honest. So I like that this one's like nice, sturdy and yeah, just kind of a simple design. It also has this little base. Like I said, we have not set this up yet. So I'm kind of like not really sure what all this stuff is. Let me see. This um, actually connects to your phone. So it's like a Bluetooth kind of idea. It goes directly to your phone and then you can kind of like peek on them anywhere in the house. You don't have to keep bringing your monitor around and all of that. So this is amazing. That kind of shows you like the breath detection and kind of how it works and looks on your phone. That also gives you a little bit more detail as well. So yeah, we'll probably try to set this up later. I really wanted to set it up last night the night before. And just have it so I plan to follow up in my ne next vlog I'll try to put like a follow-up at the beginning of the vlog um, like how we set this up how the setup process was and how it's working and all that I'm just thrilled I already know you know when you get a product and you just like know right away that you're going to love it so yeah I'll keep you guys updated on this okay, so the next PR product that was sent to me is um, called dosier I think or dozier dosier I don't know this is the packaging so it came in a large box and then all these little boxes came inside so what they are is a perfume company that does smell alike thanks to other perfumes and they try to duplicate them and then call them something else so that you can get them for a much 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 more affordable price just for pricing references two perfumes $49 three perfumes 69 four for 89 and five for $99. So I have a, um, I have Aqua de Geo and I spent a hundred dollars on that when I was in Mexico, which was actually a really good price. It's for the big, big bottle, like the largest bottle you can buy. And I bought it for a hundred dollars. Um, that is the one and only expensive perfume I've ever bought myself. I'm just going to go ahead and start opening up. This is what the packaging looks like. There's a little card in here that tells you what the perfume is. Now, the great thing about these perfumes, which is amazing because I know it's scary to order perfumes like online. The best thing is, is they send you this little sample with every single full bottle of perfume. You get this little sample and you get to smell this first. If you do not like it, you send it back and get your money back. 
So I think that is absolutely genius. So this is what the bottles look like and they're a great size as you can see. Um, I think two for $49 that is just like a steal. And is supposed to be a copy of the Aqua De Geo. So actually let me run up and get my Aqua De Geo. Let me go ahead and smell the real one first, which I just love. It's so delish. Okay. Oh wait, I need to spray it. I can't really smell anything. My only reservation is that this one's two over two years old. So maybe that's why they don't smell that that similar they definitely have similar notes like someone who likes aqua de geo would definitely like this perfume like i'd be shocked if you didn't um but to me it doesn't really smell the same um but this is two years old so i don't know that's a bad comparison i love this smell i would definitely wear it i'm super excited to have it and yeah i think that's great so i'm gonna go ahead and open the other ones um so the next one in here in here is Gucci's Bloom. So this is supposed to smell like Gucci's Bloom. It's Floral 2. So they have really simple names like Floral 1, Floral 2. I don't generally love florally scents, but... Mmm. This one is very, like, fresh and... Not my favorite, but I can actually see my mom really liking this one. She likes, um scents that are like a little bit more flowery yeah this one has jasmine which she loved this one still smells good it's just not really me it actually reminds me a lot of my mom okay so this is the aqua de geo maybe i'm saying it wrong so like this is the female version the aqua de geo de geo i don't know and then there's aqua de geo which is for men i believe so this one is for kyle so mm. Mm, it smells so good. Yeah, a little musk and like a little bit of rosemary. Mm, it smells so good and delicious. So bad with perfumes, guys. Like, I am awful at describing them. This is the D&G's Light Blue, which I have been really wanting to try because I heard people really, really like this perfume. Um, so, I feel like I have so many scents going, I'm having trouble. Mm, that one is super fresh smelling. Yep. That this one is like fresh and like um, it kind of smells like citrusy a little bit. What's in here? Granny Smith apples. That's why lemon. Yep. Bluebell bamboo, jasmine, white rose, amber, musk. Yum. That's like a good summer perfume. And then this last one in here is Oriental Wood One, inspired by Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. So this one says um, bergamot, orange, jasmine, rose, vanilla. Mmm, okay, I actually really like this one. It is more of like a mature scent in my opinion, but it does smell really good. I feel like you would need one teensy tiny little squirt on your wrist and like, you'd be good. So that is all the perfumes they sent me. Um, I am super impressed. I think the size of the bottle, the value that you're getting and the scent that you're getting, they smell very 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 high end it's super excited to be working with them i'll leave a link for them down below as well so emily's gonna come over in a little bit she's gonna work from home and they don't have wi-fi over in the apartment so i'm going to clean this stuff up a little bit um and probably do some emails while the baby is still sleeping i think i probably have about 20 to 30 minutes left before he wakes up so i'm gonna make the most of my time and i'll see you guys in a little bit hiya hiya so he always tries to get our plungers and play with them. So we were at Target the other day and we um, bought him his own plunger. Cool, I'm gonna make you a juice, okay honey? Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys something that I've been doing. This is like a huge mom hack that I use all the time. Um, I just came up with it on my own. I don't know if other moms do this or not or whatever, but it works for us. So, he doesn't really drink juice, he just drinks organic whole milk and water. Do like right now I just sat him down to eat and he doesn't eat much sometimes like for solid foods. He just would rather get down and play. He's busy, busy, busy. Um, so he does eat a lot of like eggs and toast and things like that that are pretty hearty but um, right now he just sat down and ate an entire clementine and wanted more. So I tried to give him toast and he wasn't interested and he wanted to get down. So 
Um, this is kind of what I do just to fill his belly, but what I'll do is I'll take one of these little organic food packets. So this one happens to be pear, blueberry, and carrot. I usually try to get the ones that are mostly veggies since that is what we struggle to incorporate the most in his diet. Um, but obviously this one's got a little bit of fruit in it. And I mix it in with some water in a sippy cup. So this is an Ola bottle. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand or seen it before. It's like a squishy kind of bottle. And this is in the green color. They have it in clear and light blue and light pink, I think. I love this design. I feel like it's just so easy for him to hold. It has like um, a little like measuring thing over here and then just the Ola baby label on the front. And I just love this. The thing that I love the most about these bottles and I'm like contemplating getting rid of all of our bottles and only using Ola bottles, but I'll tell you my hesitation in a minute. But my favorite thing about this is that the uh, little nipple obviously pops out, which is super common, but they offer all three stages. So they have the newborn like nipple, and then this one's like three or six month plus something. Um, and this is like the sippy cup version. And then they have the straw version, which comes with like a little straw that goes um, in here as well and then goes in the cup. So I just love that you can purchase these separately and just kind of get what you need at the time and then only have one type of bottle. Right now we have Mom, Nook, uh, we have all these different bottles and sippy cups and straw cups and it's just like, I really wish, like I'm so tempted to just throw everything out and just get Ola baby bottles. My only hesitation is because they are squishy, Knox likes to throw his bottle, so when he throws it, if he throws it hard enough, it <laughs> So when he throws it or steps on it, sometimes it does leak out of the sippy cup a little bit. I don't know about the baby bot, like the, oh, this is the straw. I don't know about if it leaks out of the straw or the baby nipple only hesitation because everything else about this bottle I just adore love so easy to clean so easy to use so cute yeah mommy's gonna make you a juice fill it about halfway with the water and then I'm just gonna open up this little packet whoa and this is not something I offer to him before or with his meals because I don't want him to get used to just getting full off of these um, so I like to offer it after if we've tried other things and he still hasn't eaten um all right so that's what it looks like once it's mixed up and as you can see he loves it what's a fart sound like yeah what's a fart sound like yeah. <laughs> what are you doing for dinner no idea if we planned better we could have like gotten something yeah okay i got a huge package in the mail guys from babyshop.com um, they gave me like a voucher to pick out some stuff and I was thrilled because they have the cutest stuff on their like on their online store. I will say if you do not shop the sale, their clothes are very pricey. <laughs> I just kind of kept an eye on what was on sale. I don't think I bought anything full price. Um, and then I bought a bunch of toys for the baby because I feel like good like cute wooden toys are kind of like hard to find. I was like obsessed with so many of their toys. I actually have my eye on two other things that I'm waiting to get back in stock and I'm going to like order them as soon as they come in. They have like everything. They have um, even like maternity clothes. I think they have like a small selection of maternity clothes, but they have a crap ton of baby clothes, baby toys, and um, like baby accessories and all that. So um, the first thing that I picked out is this little wooden helicopter. This is by Bloomingville. It says toy plane. So it's like wooden and the little like accents are gray and black and then it's got the little spinny wheels in the top. So yeah, it's actually like fairly heavy uh, when we move into like our next space it, his room's gonna be bigger than it is now so I have this whole plan of like a toy wall that I want to do and yeah so I have plans for this guy but okay number one he's eating dog food and number two he's laughing because Braxton is chasing him around the dining room too well well, he's not, but the baby thinks that Braxton's chasing him, but Braxton just does laps like he's anxiously. Like this. Come on, come on, Brax. That's his new thing, the baby goes like this, come on. But he'll keep doing it and then it turns into this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the next thing I picked out is this little like stackable ring toy. Oh my word! What? 
I was showing Emily that this, I was like, oh shoot, this is already loose, but it's actually on like a little stretchy string. That makes it so much more fun. <laughs> I like those colors. Me too. Oh, apparently I don't know how to play this game. I'm like obsessed with this one. Okay, this next one's super fun. I actually let him play with this for a second earlier and he loved it. So they had a bunch of different colors. They had like a plain white one with wood. They had light blue and then I think they had like a light pink one or something. And this one was like more of the neutral tone. So it's showing up kind of pinky. I think this is nude peach though. I don't think that's pink. This one might be a baby baby. But yeah, I thought this was pretty gender neutral and it's just so pretty and like, I don't know, I just like it. And you know wooden toys like last forever, so. These toys actually too were um, very affordable for wooden toys and the quality and stuff that they are, I'm super impressed with. They actually weren't crazy expensive. Next thing in here, I haven't taken this one out yet. Um, this one again by the same brand, Kids Concept, and it's this little toolbox. It looks like it's like the same colors as this. So it's got like the blues, the orange. Oh, I just, I think this is so cute. Look, honey, look. Oh, you got some new toys. Honey. Ooh, let's go to work. I don't want to be. There's some little pieces in there, honey. Take this. Work. Do you want to play with the xylophone instead? Yeah. I'd much rather play with a musical instrument than a hammer. He loves this, though. We already <laughs> let him play with it. Um, okay, the next thing I got is by that same Kids Concept brand, and it kind of has that like same color scheme. This is like. What is this called? A hammer bench. So you like hammer these little things okay, so it has like little grippies in here so when you hammer the next thing i got is again by that same brand and it's this little like what do you what do you even call this like a little car track, track. It looks cute. i've never heard of this brand but oh, these toys are like top of the line so i apologize guys because the prices are not on like the items i don't see and they're not on the receipt either so just know I did get everything on sale, but like I said, the clothing I think is a little bit pricey, but you're getting like Nam, Nam, Nam brand, name brand. So this one is by Mini Moo and hello, how freaking cute is this? I got this, what size did I get? So their sizing is also in, like European, I think, uh, but I did get this in like the 12 month equivalent size. But it's this sweatshirt, which I love. I just think this is so adorable. Um, and it's like this, like velvety brown scales in the zipper in the front. It's so cute, it's like stretchy, and again, like you can just tell it's nice quality. This I think was around $30, and that may have been on sale a little bit. So this was like around $70, I think, guys. So, and that was on sale. So I don't wanna be giving you guys the wrong impression. Like I'm aware these are expensive prices. So far it seems like it's worth it. The quality is really, really Everything good. Is so, nice. so this is his yes, snowsuit. Um, this is by the brand Linder Six from Sweden. So, so cute. It's like camo with like the little reflective details and everything for her hood. And then I love that it has these little things so their feet, um, it wraps around their feet. It, is. it actually has little it is. It does good, but you're right. flip overs too. So you can like put their feet inside of it, which is great. Um, like it's yeah. super nice quality guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's got like the little brown leather um, zippers and then it's got like fur on the inside. Really, really nice quality. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> you like it? It's about what you do in the snow. <laughs> Dude, that is cool. Cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you like it? Honey, that's the cute. <laughs> Look at his arms. That is funny. It is a little big on you, isn't it, sweet? Yeah. Guys, this is his favorite book. Like, so cute. Literally his favorite book. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pick you up. 